Pies will be on Sydney again this weekend when the Autumn Carnival continues with the Australian Derby Day at Ramwick. But no horse will command more attention than the Mark Cavanagh trained super filly Atlantic Jewel who makes her return to racing. Here to join us and talk about the build-up to the return to racing is Merv Harvey from the Cavanagh camp. Merv, be exciting time for the stable to have the great girl back. Yeah, we're all looking forward to it. Uh, you know, she's come through this preparation without one hiccup and we couldn't be happy with the way she's going and we'll put her on the truck tonight and hopefully uh, she gets there in one piece and steps out on Saturday. We haven't seen her since a wakeful when she won by seven lengths. It's been a slow and steady build-up after a, a, an injury setback after that race. Yeah, she had t- she's had all the time out in the paddock and, and we've done all the right things by her and she's been back in work for a fair while now and she's had a couple of jump outs. Uh, we haven't had a problem with her this time in, so uh, touch wood, everything goes good. Condition-wise, she's a, she a bigger filly now than when we last saw her? Uh, she, we just weighed her before and she's put on 38 kilos since she last raced, so she's a bigger version and uh, um, probably uh, don't want to say this, but she's probably a better version. Well, that's scary for our rivals, and you'd be taking great heart out of what we've seen from Moshine over the first the festival of racing and then later on up in Sydney? Yeah, look, she's been outstanding, Moshine, and she's obviously improved since the spring as well, so um, both high-class fillies, and uh, we're just looking forward to getting our filly back to the races. And looking at Saturday's race, you chose the Sapphire Stakes for fillies and mares at Group 2 level over the Group 1 TJ Smith. What was the reasoning behind that? Oh, look, just three-year-old filly coming back from injury and, and it's probably just an easier option taking on the fillies rather than taking on those hard and old sprinters. And, um, and then the aim is to go head to the all-age in a fortnight's time, so we'll just clean the cobwebs out Saturday and go from there. And the race itself, she's drawn barrier 12 out of barrier in a 14-horse field. Where do you anticipate she might end up? Oh, look, she's, she's pretty comfortable wherever she is. She'll probably end up back midfield somewhere probably look at probably be three wide with cover I would think so uh, but we'll leave that up to Michael he gets paid the big bucks to do that he's in good form too having read him the George Ryder winner last weekend now that's Sydney but you've also got a a key runner at Flemington on Saturday with live and let die to go around in the thoroughbred racing club handicap he should find this a little bit easier than his last assignment uh, when seventh in the new market yeah, look, he, he ran out of his skin in the new market. It was probably a personal best run, and he just loves the straight, so we've kept him a bit fresh, and, and uh, this looks a good race for him. Uh, 58 on his back, he's, he's earned that, but uh, he just loves the straight, and he's such a genuine little horse. Uh, every time he goes around, he's a genuine chance. And how's he done since that fantastic run? Oh, he's thrived. You know, he's just he's a professional little racehorse and just loves, uh, loves his work, and, and I'd expect drawn barrier two he's going to get a nice little cover behind them and uh, at some stage he's going to look the winner